I'm working on a counted cross stitch project for my partner's, my life partner's grand nephew. So uh, my partner, uh, he has three grand nephews and um, in 2010 I made them stockings. Uh, they were in, uh, embroidery stockings and here's the picture of what they look like. So the youngest one, Noah, um, his stocking was a puffy one where it was stuffed with like cotton. The other ones were more vintage uh, embroidery. They were textured, um, and so when when I was going to make a, uh, I decided I was going to make another one for Noah um, because that one's more of a baby uh, stocking. So uh, I thought, okay, well, I'll make another one. Um, where can I find a new one? I found a website called thestitchery.com. And I bought this stocking. I asked, actually asked my partner for uh, his thoughts. Uh, I, I sent him a link and said, these are the stockings that they have. Which one do you want me to, make, to, to buy? And so this one uh, is called, uh, what is it called? <laughs> It's called Trim the Tree Stocking, and it's a picture of basically Santa Claus holding uh, a snowman, <laughs> uh, kind of like a snow kid, <laughs> I guess. So I'm using my uh, old cam DVD camcorder. These are the, the strings that it came with, and uh, I've already started it. This doesn't have a flash on it, but you can probably see that. I've already started it, it's not the greatest, um, but I'm working on it. <laughs> um, this is gray, <laughs> by the way. This is part of the beard. The, the instructions say to um, find the center point. So like this is the exact center. So that's why I started. Um, I've never done counted cross stitch before. I wanted to set up my um, uh, time-lapse camera but I don't know how much time this is going to take me because I've I've never done counted cross stitch before and this is on this um, oh, it's not focusing it's on this stand and uh, it's it's really tight although it doesn't look like it's that tight it, it's it's well it's not really that tight actually I need to tighten it more but it doesn't matter um, I don't know how long this is gonna take me but um, I've already run into a few snags the, the string is knotted up in the back and, and uh, I had to cut the strand in half so I guess that's what you have to do you have to cut the strands in half and um, I took my label maker and I because these are all numbered 1 through 30 so I just took my label maker and I, I wrote, uh, I mean, I put the, the number, the DMC number of each color on there. Uh, black and white and gold, they didn't have a DMC number, so I guess I'm just going to have to deal with that when I get to there. Um, but I'm sure that they've provided enough of those colors. Uh, but just in case, I, I wanted to... You know, keep the numbers there so that if I have to buy more, then I, I'll know what number to buy. Um, the my eyes, I'm getting old, <laughs> as you could tell from my image. My eyes are getting so bad, there's no way I could read this. I mean, look how detailed these things are, and you know, it's got all these codes and everything, and uh. So I'm going to have to, I, what I did was I scanned, uh, I scanned this whole thing and I, I put it on the uh, computer so that I could, um, you know, zoom in. <laughs> and uh, 
that helps. And also, what I'm doing is I'm highlighting where I've already uh, where I've already made by coloring the coloring the chart on the computer, so I know where I've already done, so that I don't get confused. So it's going to take me a while to do this, and uh, I thought I could do time lapse, but I can't. <laughs> Um, I, the only reason I can't is because I don't know how long it's going to take me and I can only sit here doing this for like a few minutes at a time. <laughs> so, uh, this is not going to be an easy job. I've never done counted cross stitch before. Um, maybe I should have probably worked or picked something <laughs> easier. Uh, I love embroidery, although it took me basically a month to make the embroidered stockings. But at least those were printed on the on the canvas. This isn't printed on the canvas. I have to hope that I don't make a mistake, and I probably will make many mistakes. But uh, anyway, so that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> um, so I'll I'll make another video when it's done. I'm not going to make a video like I did with the the Betty Boop one, where I I made a video and said here here I am now. I made like four videos, I think. I'm going to do this video and then I'll make one when, I, when I'm completely done. So anyway, uh, I've got a lot of work to do, so I better get started. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.